it. So we have RJ and Salted Bread playing against each other. I'm looking forward to it. Look at this beautiful layout, guys. Thanks again to Devin. It's it's just great. Ain't no one do it like House of 3000, baby. Oh, yeah. So we got Salted Bread set up for Tetris's. RJ going for Tetris's as well. Both are just waiting to fill up their zone meter. Salted going for some teaspoons every now and then. It's very much a similar method to how I play whenever I play tech. I'm like, I mostly go for Tetris's from some teaspoons around there. I don't miss drop as often as he does, but you know what? That's okay. Salted's got a Dodeca twist. Interesting option for Salted go for the early zone. It's most likely because he missed dropped. RJ is almost at full zone right now. Oh, my bad. He did set off his zone. And he's popping off, as we say. Interesting choices, stacking-wise. Going for that last-minute T-spin. Oh, my God. Nearly at the top of his board. And his zone is out. He went for a perfect twist. Oh, this is not a good zone, Salted. What are you doing, man? Okay, you're getting down. You're getting down. Ah, oh, but your zone's done. You got a do another Dodecatrice. RJ is figuring out what options he has in this game at the moment. Whereas Salted is just kind of building up his meter again, figuring out what he can do as well. It's definitely a big switch. Can you believe just how crazy it is that RJ just went straight from playing PPT to going right into this? Uh, Tetris Effect Bracket. This is a very different game. This is a very different game, guys. It feels different. It plays different. And the mechanics are different. So just to think how crazy it must be to switch back and forth like that. It's it's a unique skill. Imagine somebody playing Smash Ultimate and then going right into a Smash Melee Bracket. It's, it's impressive. RJ in his zone right now. Salted Bread setting up that zone right afterwards going for the mini t-spin all right setting up a lot of attacks right now will it cancel all that garbage there's only one way to find out let's see deca hexatrice i'm loving it that did get rid of all the garbage that rj sent to him and he is setting up for his next attack rj has a lot of uh swiss cheese right now it's not looking fancy it's looking messy salted bread is starting to get some cheesy garbage but he is he's building down he's genuinely he's in fact he's using it to his advantage he's setting up for a t-spin he's well actually both of them are digging down their boards very quickly at the moment salted suddenly getting a lot of garbage though rj is further down in his board rj is setting up some attacks he has a max meter by the way he's just not using it he's waiting for the right time to Waiting for the right time to use his meter, which is now. Salted just got a Tetris. And he's dead. Apologies earlier, I coughed. <laughs> uh, yes, if we can show the stats after the game, that would be awesome. If that doesn't Copy fit, that. thank you. Should I like go to like a full screen game or can we leave it in the cutout? We can probably leave it in the cutout, yeah. Alright, cool. Yeah, yeah, I think so. RJ wins. What? That RJ wins! Oh my god! Beautiful! <laughs> in the amount what? of time it took for me to ask that question, RJ won! <laughs> can we get a replay of that real quick? <laughs> that was a perfect I wasn't even looking! He got a PC! And he just killed a that <laughs> Oh, man. That's what's so great about this game. You can win or lose at any moment. So unpredictable. So crazy. This right here, my friends. This is Tetris. None of that anime, cutesy character <laughs> BS. This block stacking in space.